What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Long time no Target unboxing. Or just unboxing. I don't even remember the last time I did an actual formal unboxing, but hi, we're back. We are here today with TXT's latest comeback, the name chapter Free Fall, the second installment in the name chapter series i guess so yes i did wake up bright and early it's still technically bright and early so if i'm not my usual 100 percent just keep that in mind i usually don't film at this hour i film quite literally the, at the opposite hour at like midnight but i have all of the versions here from target i know i'm very sorry there is once again no target vlog i know save your booze save your groans and sighs and looks of disappointments I am on an even tighter schedule these days on Fridays, so sorry. I mean, it wasn't even that eventful today. I basically was just standing at guest services or tech services for like 30 minutes waiting for the employee to show up because it wasn't out on the shelves. I don't know where my usual homegirl is. She's not here. The employee still got it for me from the back, so it's okay. We're thriving still. Okay, so we have all the versions here. We have the reality, melancholy, clarity and two gravity versions here because these are member versions i did only buy two because i did literally pre-order literally yesterday the five set from weavers japan because the weavers regular shop global shop they stopped giving their special gifts so i was very sad about that i can't believe i forgot but luckily weavers japan i think they were still doing like a pre-order photo card event so i just bought it from there i did buy this from the same store though because again i am on a tight schedule so like would i i would have ideally went to two different stores for a variety but i couldn't so i just got two here so these could very well be dupes but Oh well. Anyways, no more yapping. Let's get into it. Okay, so this is the first version, the reality version. I did actually have to look up those names because I wanted to be a little prepared this morning. These albums are, first of all, a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. I thought they were just going to be like their typical size, you know, like Freeze or like Fire Escape or something. But these are like bigger, thin boxes. And the way I was like, my heart shattered, you could say, when I saw the preview of the packaging because you literally have to tear this. Or maybe there's another way to open this because I don't want to tear this. Like, what is up with these companies and making us rip shit? Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, so there we go. Life hack. If you don't want to rip open your album, it's not too late by the time you're watching this. Oh, wait, I'm actually so stupid. The photo book is literally attached to this, so you can't even take it out. Oh, <laughs> never mind. This is not a life hack. I take that back. So I'm just going to do what I did with like Fearless by La Seraphim and just like rip it like this so that it's somewhat preserved. This just like, why? This just hurts to do, you know? I don't understand why they... I don't know if that, if that was a better solution, but okay. <laughs> That's what they wanted, so don't hate me. Hate, don't hate the player, hate the game. There's actually a lot of stuff in here, oh my god. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. Oh, tear yourself away from what's holding you back, I guess. This is your little stress reliever, even though it does quite literally the opposite for me and gives me more stress. So anyways, <laughs> let's just go ahead and flip through this very interesting photo book. Oh my God, this is like, oh, I'm sorry. They might win worst album packaging of the year because what the fuck is this? But anyways, besides that, we do have, oh, okay. We've got some intense rain shots. Oh my. I like how some of the members are just like, oh wait, never mind. He's a little moist too, but he has an umbrella here. Meanwhile, we have Taehyun here drenched, <laughs> literally in the trenches. But anyways, to be quite honest, I have said this multiple times, but I lose track of time and I did not expect this comeback to already happen right now. I literally was like, oh shit, TXC's comeback is this Friday. I know, right? It's like we're approaching mid-October already, which I think is insane. Yeah, I can't believe- it also has felt like a really long time since Temptation happened. I mean, when I was getting my Temptation albums, I remember I was picking up my mom that day from something. I don't know. 
but that felt like last year even though it was not last year in fact but anyways it kind of looks like they did go back to this like theme this like emo i guess you can call it although like the three like tracks that they like promoted like the lead singles or like the main songs pre-releases i don't know which was what do it like that with the joe bros um back for more with anita and then um chasing that feeling those three songs were more like pop than like the emo sound that they did before but then the rest of the album kind of gives that like rock emo vibe so it's like a mix of two it's like rock pop almost which i think is like a good compromise to be honest because i know a lot of people didn't like the rock version of them they wanted like the more pop side so i guess they're given the best of both worlds i don't know i did really enjoy um this album overall though i was streaming it so much last night because i was doing some things i was buying some photo cards for another video but i was listening to this album basically the whole time and oh my god it's so good like i feel like txt's b-sides are some of my favorite b-sides ever yeah i think we can all agree that they are album hit makers i was kind of skeptical too because to be quite honest i wasn't the biggest fan of the first two pre-releases you know the two collabs that they did i know that was like a little more like typical i don't know western pop vibes in my opinion they're not bad obviously i don't think i don't really i i rarely ever find songs like bad bad you know like i hate this song it's just like not my taste i don't think i would really listen to it too much but i was listening to it a lot more yesterday because of the album and i did enjoy like the txt version too of back for more i'll get it more into like my favorite songs a little later but let's just go through all of these goodies because there's so many like look at all this what is this flyers so it looks like we get this like little poster set i think it's like the sets of actually i don't think it's each member because i know they all took pictures of these sets but that's so cool they give like a full set of these you can like decorate your room you know a little subtle merch moment maybe i don't know oh there's another one. Oh wait this is member <gasps> Ooh, we got our first subin pole oh my he is also in the trenches in this pick, but yay, we got our first Subin pull. Okay, my, my Subin look is usually not that great because he is my bias and usually my, I'm like bias repellent, so. <laughs> okay, what is this? <gasps> Ooh, this is also really pretty, even though this is like a lyric poster. It's very artsy. Oh yeah, I guess I could point out my favorite songs. I did like everything though, oh my god. My favorite, oh, my instant favorite though was Dreamer. This song, oh my goodness, caught my attention. It was a love at first listen. Still probably my favorite right now, but yeah, I did genuinely like every track on here. Growing Pain is also a really good one. This was definitely an ass shaker, Happily Ever After. I was like twerking in my chair listening to it. Like I usually say in these Target unboxings, it hasn't been a full 24 hours since this era has started so uh cut me some slack here oh yeah okay looks like we get a oh this is the group poster Ooh. it's very dark oh my okay and then we get this plethora of inclusions which is crazy we get the sticker sheets all of these logos oh there's another sticker sheet here it's like doodles literally just like scribbles <laughs> okay and then oh my god another member postcard so we got Tehyun this time this one's like a square postcard i feel like for the signed like us albums they, sh they should have signed these i think they signed like a message postcard these would have been perfect to be signed hmm missed opportunity yeah i'm pretty sure this is what they signed for the signed album which i did buy a copy of by the way but we also got another subin this like message postcard lots and lots of postcards but we got another subin thing there's this message okay and then here is the cd they keep using this like cardboardy papery material which is interesting i guess it's a little more eco-friendly if you will and then okay this is the target's exclusive card it's yet again another clear card and yet again it is slightly bigger i don't get why they can't just do like a regular size photo card I don't know i'm pretty sure this does fit in my a5 binder though so that's good but i'm pretty sure this doesn't fit in like a typical nine pocket i could be wrong we got bum cues 
Love his hair, by the way. The mullet continues to grow. Okay, and it looks like we get two photo cards, which is so fun. Okay, let's see our first one. Oh, another Bungyu! Oh my god. Wait, I'm actually, like, kind of obsessed with his hair. This color and this lane. Now I can't imagine him with, like, short hair for some reason. I'm always... I'm just so used to seeing him with long hair now. It's crazy. Okay, and then our second card. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, a Suvin pull. Y'all, this is like rare for me. If you guys are not new to my channel, oh my god, my bias look is like kind of amazing these days, but look at this card. <gasps> so cute. And the lip ring, okay. Wow, this is getting me so pumped up for this era. Okay, see, now this is the problem. Like, is this how we're supposed to store these albums? <laughs> what the hell? Like, at least for La Seraphim's album, there was, like, a little, like, tuck thingy, but this has nothing. Like, you're on your own for this. Like, why couldn't they just make this, like, a little flap, you know? I get the whole, like, tear yourself, but I don't care about the concept if it means this. <laughs> All right, next up, we have the melancholy version. Oh, God. We have to go through this again. Or at least I wish they made the photo book, like, detached so that I can, like, take it out like that. This one... There's no escape. Unless you don't want to see the photo book, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> Maybe I should have bought like another set of albums just so I can have in pristine condition. Here it is. Sometimes magical moments can be found in the most unmagical places. Bars. Let's take a look at this photo book now. The melancholy. Ooh, this one is more of like, oh my god, the dog. I love dogs clearly don't we all but this one's not like a cute little dog it's like a type of dog <laughs> i'm i don't know if there's photo cards with the dog i wish there were i hope there are but i did see these i think these are my favorite concept pictures because of the dog but yeah these all kind of give off like the similar vibes anyways look at these outfits though lots of frills Oh yeah, okay, I wanted to talk about the um, title track really quickly because I remember when I was first listening to it, to be honest, it didn't really give me like title track vibes. I feel like it's because it was like pretty like tame or like mellow throughout the entire song. Like it kind of just maintained the same like beats rhythm throughout the entire song. So it kind of felt like pretty non-title tracky. I could see, I did see why like they picked it as the title track. But I did still enjoy it. It's still very much that, like, it reminds me of, like, what is it, 2020, 2021 vibes? That, like, retro-y sort of sounds. They went for that, and it's very catchy. Like, I remember the sound was going a little viral on TikTok beforehand. Like, Jason, that... Okay, no, we're not going to sing at this hour. <laughs> I'm saving y'all from my horrible voice, but you get what I mean. I mean, again, it... These are not my final thoughts. I feel like I have to do a little disclaimer because people are going to watch this like a week later and they're going to be like, what the hell? But it's only been, what? Not even 12 hours since the album has dropped, actually. So, yeah. <laughs> I love this look by on Subin. This, like, long, like, thingy. <laughs> you get what I mean? I don't know. So industrial. And then there's like some piano there. Ooh, there's some like nature shots. That's cool with the flowers. It's like dead flowers though. It's like a darker side of nature, which is fun. Also kind of obsessed with this orange hair on Yunjun and Hyuninkai. I think Hyuninkai has like this like orangish. His is like a little more lighter though. Like it's like a lighter orange, but it looks so good. You can see I'm like kind of struggling to flip this photo book towards the end there, but you know what? It's fine. We, we went through it. Okay. Oh, we get like different posters because it's like different sets for each version. That's really fun. You can decorate like an entire wall with these. It's like so... Aesthetic. Okay, and then for our member poster, we got Taehyun once again. I don't need to show the back, it's white, but... Ta-da! It's like a mugshot. <laughs> okay, and then this is our group poster with the dog. The sixth member. Surprise, it's a furry. Okay, and then I think this lyric poster, yeah. 
it's exactly the same. All right, I'm just gonna start pulling things from the side. Okay, I did see this because the name, but our post, I mean, our, what? Message postcard is once again, Taehyun, I'll be with you every moment. Why did I say it like that? With you? Oh, it's lyrics. I just noticed the song title right there. <laughs> okay, and then for this, oh, we got Hyunin Kai this time with a little lollipop. Pretty. Then, okay, here is our Target photo card, and we got Yeonjun. Yay! I love the variety of members that we're getting. I'm pretty sure we pulled like one of every member so far, so that is nice. We love the variety. Okay, and then these three should be the same. I think this is just like a different. Yeah, it matches the cover. Alrighty, now for our two photo cards. We have the first melancholy. Oh my god, bum you again. So cute. Once again, love the hair. Okay, and then second card. Oh, another Taehyun. Alrighty. Wait, we pulled like... Oh, wait, no, never mind. Wait, yeah. We pulled like one of every member for the photo card, except for Yuning Kai. So maybe we'll get his in the next one. But it's so pretty. He's glowing. Alrighty, last up, we have the... Uh, re no, Clarity version. Maybe I should have just done it like this for, for the full effect. The full experience. Ah! Okay, yeah, this one's destroyed. Oh, fuck, no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now that that's over, here's the clarity version. Ooh, this one's like brighter on the rooftop. Oh, this is kind of like the same set as the Rock with the Music video by Seventeen. That one Ming House scene. Oh, wait, I just realized Subin kind of has a mullet too. I love that. Ooh, la la. They're really rocking the, the plaid here. The styling of this is so interesting though. I really like it. There's a lot of like layers and like textures and accessories. It's a lot, but it's like good, like a good chaotic mess. I really like it. Everything's like oversized too. It's very like punkish esque though. Again, like I mentioned, they kind of went back to this concept, which is interesting. Maybe this is like their new brand, you know? They've grown up emo. They're still going through it. Oh my god, I can't get over his hair. It's so cute. I really like it. All of their hair this era, honestly, is amazing. Suits all of them super well. really talking a lot because I'm low-key catching my breath <laughs> from talking for 20 minutes straight but just enjoy the photos be careful though when you're flipping through the photo book because like this thing sticks out so I'm like low-key like scratching my arm <laughs> I just don't like okay sure you can do this sort of packaging but like at least make the photo book like d detached you know <laughs> Like, making us open it like this is just very interesting. I don't know, I guess you can maybe, like, just cut all of this off so it's, like, just a photo book like that. So that these flaps aren't in the way. I don't know. It's, like, one of those, like, albums that does, that are, like, spineless, you know? That, like, lay completely flat. But those ones are so fragile. I do not like that packaging either. Like, this, this... I don't know what you call this, but this is a little tragic. Anyways, now we have... Ooh, okay, so we... I guess we can take a look at this. Why not? We have Hyunin Kai this time for the member poster. And then we have, again, our concept... Um, what do we call it? Little mini posters. Ooh, this one actually has the members in it. Automatic fave. Again, it's just the cover this time for the CD. And then let's look at all of our inclusions. <gasps> oh, yeah, we got a Subin. Okay, it looks like these postcards are like version specific. So we got Subin's postcard, again, with my favorite hair. Okay, I saw this name, but we got Yeonjun this time. We're getting a nice variety. No dupes, actually, which is fun. This one. Oh, it's also from Blue Spring. Maybe all of them are from Blue Spring. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yes! 
Yes! Okay, I was really hoping I'll get Subin's target card because he's my bias after all. And we did! Yay! First photo card. <gasps> what did I say? Speaking it into existence, we got our Hunin Kai card in this version. Oh yeah. Again, the styling of this is just so pretty. Okay, and then our last card. Oh my god, it's a Hunin Kai set! We double manifested him. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Wait, isn't this like Hunin Kai set technically for this version? Oh my god. Whoever packed this album blessed us to die. Alrighty, now we have our two Gravity member versions. They did make it harder this time, so you really can't tell who the member is. I'm pretty sure it says like on this cover and you, there's no peeking. So yeah, again, I, get, I did get this from the same target, so it's like a very high chance that it will be the exact same like album but i just wanted to get two for the unboxing because why not it's friday it's unboxing day so yeah and if you're wondering like if you're gonna mention the whole like comka sticker thing boom international or like u.s press albums don't have comka stickers unfortunately so that does not work sadly <laughs> speaking of that comka thing i did like make a tiktok about it for work because like it's my job and i just made it and it kind of blew up and what's kind of funny is that people like kind of tagged me in the video or something or like mentioned it in my video or my tiktok saying like hey i saw this tiktok like that could help you and i'm like i literally made it <laughs> that is me in the video it's just my work persona whatever anyways let me try and take every everything's like right here so let me just whoop. okay oh fuck i saw my photo card oh there's like a what is it? ah this poster was like stuck oh is that the member i think it's taehyun <gasps> it is okay so i saw the poster that's why but we got taehyun's version i do like this like concept though like motorcycle helmet and oh my god so pretty <gasps> it's so glittery wait let me zoom in Ooh la la okay yeah th this was actually my favorite photo shoot <laughs> from the teasers oh my god it's so cool, literally defying gravity. And the sparkles. <gasps> the way they like edit these pictures are really nice. Is really nice. He's like a figure skater almost. And like the glitter. Why do these four pictures look like exactly the same? <laughs> that trips me out for a second. Ooh. Oh my god, now I'm really glad that I, like, decided to get... Well, I was always planning on getting all five versions of the Gravity, but I just forgot to for some reason. Damn it, I'm kind of sad that I missed out on the Weaver's Shop. I mean, I don't really... I forgot what the special gift was, but I'm pretty sure, like, it's, like, the... You know, like, a little, like, book box sort of thing, like, a little box set. Because I think that's what they usually do for Weaver's packs or whatever and those are really nice it makes it it makes it feel like a collector's edition so i'm really sad i missed out on that literally i just remembered to pre-order it yesterday and that's when they ended it so womp womp anyways these fo these pages are really thick too like they are super thick i guess you can like rip it out to make postcards but okay so yeah like i said i saw this this is the folded oh it's upside down actually it's supposed to be like this Ta-da! he's flying he's free falling literally Ooh, this time oh it has the member's name how fun okay and then we got a matching little postcard they made it bigger this time this like mini card so gorgeous and then it looks like another little sticker sheet and then i did see the photo card but we got our yanjun photo card now we've officially pulled like every member for the selfie card so that's fun we have yunjuns i mean i'm gonna collect ot5 for this because i did buy like five albums so well seven now but yeah first pull so cute we could be either very shocked or very disappointed <laughs> again ideally i would go to a different target but if i wanted to unbox two copies for this video i have to get two right now i don't have time to go to two different stores sadly so we can only pray oh my god it's different <gasps> oh my god it's actually a different member i'm so shocked we got bum <gasps> yay okay i'm actually very shocked because again like target is usually like not the great greatest place to get like multiple albums because most of the time they're dupes but wait 
this Target is kind of like amazing because I remember I bought like two Golden Age albums from this Target too and they were different as well so maybe this Target is lucky with the shuffling. I don't know. Maybe someone's in the back shuffling the albums for us. Who knows but okay I'm really glad we have at least two members to unbox for this video. <laughs> Yay! And again obviously I don't have the Weavers versions because they don't sell the Weavers versions in American stores so. Oh shoot I need to buy those. I didn't buy them yet. <laughs> Oh shit, I totally forgot, but it's okay. I'm excited to open that too because apparently there's like an elastic band on it, which it's like a little more high budget, you know? That's fun. So I'm excited to get those whenever I get those. <laughs> Probably my next k Addy haul because I might just get them from Korea, but... Ooh, this one has like the football... Wait. Oh, it's a football and a motorcycle helmet. Okay, I was like, wait a minute. But wait, were these pictures in the Taehyun? photo book? I don't remember seeing them. Or maybe I'm just like really stupid because I just opened it like <laughs> two minutes ago. But okay, these are just lyrics. This. Boom. We have Pumgus. Hallelujah. Here is his upside down poster. It, it could work like this too. Like if you want this to be upside down. I don't know. All right, and then, okay, here's like everything. So here's the sticker, and then here is his glorious postcard. Oh my, so sparkly. All right, last photo card of the video. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> they said, oh, <laughs> we can't let you off that easy. So here's your dupe. <laughs> but yeah, again, it's okay. I'm literally gonna open like five more of these. So I'm just hoping I don't get five more Yeonjuns, but it's okay. Anyways, that is everything. Alrighty, y'all, here is our photo card spread. We actually have a lot of photo cards, which I'm surprised about. I feel like TXT albums usually come with one photo card, right? But now it comes with two. Granted, that means there's two per member now, but hey, you know what? It's for the unboxing experience. But anyways, that is everything. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.